Good evening. Hi, good evening, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Great, excellent. So how is the weather um, on your location? Is it hot or is it actually cool? I am in, it's very hot here, teacher. All right, and, and, and where do you live? I'm from Zacatecoluca City. Oh, I see. So it's very hot, right? Yes. All right, and is right it now, about to rain or not yet? Not yet. Not yet, all right, great. Okay, well, let me introduce myself. I'm uh, uh, Teacher Flamenco, right? My name is Juan Jose Flamenco. You can call me JJ or teacher as you prefer. Okay. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too, Nelson. And tell me about you. Where do you work or what do you do? I work uh, for a company, a Korean company. This is in Olokwilta City. Mm -hmm. It's a factory. It's a factory, okay. And, and what are your what are your duties? I am marker maker. Mm -hmm. This is the I am uh, I printing marker like uh, this. This is uh, I write a uh, pieces of a uh, jacket or a shirt in a in a, a long paper. Mm -hmm. In a, it's a long, a long printing, and I put a, a roll paper. Oh, interesting. All right. And for how long have you been doing that? Mm, let me remember. I have been doing maybe five, five years. Five years. So you have a lot of experience now. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great, good, good, good to know, and thank you for sharing about you. All right. So, uh, good evening, Carla. How are you tonight? Oh, the microphone. Fine, Carla. thank you. And you? Oh, okay, excellent. I'm doing good. Thank <laughs> you for asking. All right. So, Carla, I'm I'm gonna be your teacher for the rest of your the the course, right? So, I'm Mr. Flamenco, or you can call me JJ. It's a nickname because my name is Juan Jose, right? So nice to meet you, Carla. Nice to meet you too. All right, excellent. So I was just talking to Nelson right now. So he was just telling me about himself and I would like to ask you the same. So what do you do? What, what is your job about? Uh, I, I, I work in a Japanese company mm -hmm. called Nippon Koi and I am working in supervision of construction Construction. Of San Miguel. Oh, San Miguel, you said? Yes, but I am, I, I live in San Salvador, but I work in, in San Miguel, but I, I almost, I live in, in San Miguel because I, I am, I traveling to my house, a three day each two week. I I work eleven days in a row, and I rest three days. Okay, that's a very hard job, right? <laughs> yes. All right. So, and I can imagine now the weather in San Miguel is very hot as well. Oh yes, it's very yes. hot. All now right. it's very hot. Yeah, I can imagine that. So, thank you very much <laughs> for sharing that, and uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right. Good evening, everybody else. I can see now that more people have joined the class. So we have Danielle. We have um, Vanessa Goldman here on as well, right? So good evening, everybody else. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hi, can you? I'm good. Thank you for asking, right? So, well, let me introduce myself again. Uh, my name is Juan Jose Flamenco, right? So you can call me Mr. Flamenco, teacher, or JJ, as you prefer, right? So I will be your teacher for the rest of the course. All right, so we are going to be working together to continue learning more, right? So I truly appreciate your punctuality. So let's start right now. So 
Today's class is going to be very interesting because it's going to be a review of all the things that you have been discussing and working um, before, right? Uh, before I start, I would like to ask you guys, do you have any question or any topic that you would like to review right now? Or like you want me to start with talking about that topic first or I just go with the with the program? You tell me, please. For me, I don't have questions. It's so oh. nice. You can continue with the program. <laughs> no problem. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So let me ask you something here, everybody else. What do you remember from the previous class, right? So the last class you received, what was the class about? What were the topics you were talking about? Let's see if you remember a little bit about that. Who can tell me the answer? Okay, so now everybody's very shy when it comes about the class, right? So let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, Daniel, Daniel, Mr. Daniel, Antonio Luna. So can you tell me um, what was the last topic you were discussing in the last class and, and what do you remember about that topic? Okay, um, we're talking about the um, building vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, about the in 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 a, in a program uh, we we work in page sixteen mm -hmm. about the building vocabulary and the teachers change to to found find out in online about the, tri the triangle strategy benchmark analysis frame post assessment and return of investing investment. Yes, yeah, this is the last, the last class to, I, I remember. Thank you. And that is actually right, right? So it was about business. It was about training. It was about um, all those stuff, right? So tonight we're going to review uh, some of those things just to like double check the vocabulary you guys have and to see how good um, you can actually manage or master the vocabulary. So let me share my screen right now so we can start talking about this one. Let's see. Please confirm if you can see my screen. Can you? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I can see some people here also join the class. I can see also Joel Man. Good evening, Joel Man. All right. Good evening. Enjoy your food. All right. So let's see. Let's just talk about this one here. Uh, do you remember this vocabulary, people? That was from a couple of classes ago. We're talking about business needs and goals, gap skills uh, analysis, service, and performance price. Right? So do you remember all those things, people? Yes, or no? Uh, I remember Sherby. Is is when you need uh, when you need uh, uh, obtain a, a a percent about mm -hmm. sometime. Some exactly. <clears throat> all right. So what else? Let's just go in order if you don't mind. All right. So we can discuss all those things together. Let's go for the first one here. So it's about business needs and goals, right? Who can talk about that? Who can tell me what the business things? I'm sorry, business needs and goals means. Do you remember that? Hello? I write uh, one concept about the uh, business needs. Is, okay. Uh, Can you share it, please? Predeterminated target that a business or individual plans to achieve in a set period of time. Exactly. Thank you very much. That was a good one, by the way. All right. As you know, personally, and then as a company as well. So for us, right, in uh, doing those amazing jobs you normally do, um, select someone here using this. All right. So for example, uh, Daniel, so do you know what is the business goal in your company? Yes. <laughs> Yes, uh, my business, my my company, the, the goals of my company business is to uh, provide service to the 
uh, youth navy. Okay, great, excellent. What about yours, Joman? Thank you, Daniel. What about yours, Joman? No, hi. Oh, hi. I was just asking before, like, if you know, for example, what are uh, the companies where you work, uh, the company's goals, the company, I mean, the goals they have as a company. Um, all, all companies have a, a goal, um, a, a month, um, a month goal. So the, the intention is uh, achieve the, the month Go. All right, okay. exactly. Thank you very much. All right, so I would like to uh, also worse regarding this one. All right, here is. This is going to be like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, one second. I'm trying to like, you know, give you some vocabulary that I found, which is going to be very useful about this one right here. Okay, so let's see here. You will see this right now. Hold on a sec. Okay, here it is. Okay, let me know if you can see the new screen now. Yeah, you should be there already. Can you see that? Yes. All right, excellent. So I want you to review with me those three important um things that we can find here, right? Or those three important points that we can actually see here. And the first one, it's this one right here, which is the business objectives and goals, right? Who can help me to read this one? Please, one volunteer. Hello, hello? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, go ahead. Businesses, objectives, and goals. Yeah. This important a group and how they seek to achieve goals. The goals could be long-term, including quality statement. Only that or I, I have continue. Just with that one for the moment. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So good job with the pronunciation. All right. So as you can see this one, so that would be like the business objectives and goals, right? This includes a group and how they seek to achieve the goals. Let me review your vocabulary here, ladies and gentlemen, and please tell me, what is the meaning of this word? Can you tell me a synonym? Hmm? The word seek, yes. Look for. Excuse me? It's like look for something. Exactly, thank you, Vanessa, by the way. All right, to look for, right? Actually, that's the meaning of seek, to look for. Um, so it says like how they look for uh, achieving those goals, right? And then the goals could be long-term goals, including quality statements, all right? Uh, quality statements, I'm sorry. All right, so let's see. Now, let me see if you can explain this to me. What is the difference between a long-term goal and a short-term goal? Hmm? The difference between a long-term goal and a short-term goal. Do you know that? Any volunteer? Long-term goal versus short-term goal. Vanessa, Carla, Nelson. Is short-term goal is when you need more time to make um, a goal. You need more resources to accomplish in a short goal. Short-term goal is it's immediate to get big. Thank you so much, and that is actually correct, right? As you said before, for a long-term goal, you need to have more time to achieve that goal, right? And a short-term goal, it could be immediately, maybe something for tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or in a week or a month. You know, a short period of time, right? From now. But long-term goal things takes more time. That's why companies, yeah, they do have short-term goals as well, but they also have long-term goals, like to get new customers to move to different locations, right? For example, if they have an um a store or a branch, I will say, 
in San Salvador, they can they are looking for new branches in different countries or different cities, right? So to expand their business. All right. Thank you for sharing all those uh, thoughts with me here. So let's go for the second one here, which is going to be the business opportunity or problem. Who wants to help me to read this one, business opportunity or problem? Please volunteer. Yes. Hello. Hello. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Business opportunity or problem. This is the main problem that will need remedial in some way. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, sometimes, you know, like um, it is important actually how you take the things. I don't know if you have heard this expression before, but you know, where some people see problems, some other people see uh, solutions or a business opportunity. So for example, um, you know that in El Salvador, we are very creative to um, start business, to run business, etc. right? So for example, um, it's super common when you go to like um, markets, for example, or festivals, to find some rocks or stones, actually, some stones, and they have painted those stones, they decorate the stones, and they, they sell the stones for a really high price. Actually, it's just, a, you can say it's just a rock, it's just a stone, but it's actually um, something that, you know, when someone else thought about, oh my God, this is just stones, someone thought about that and they said, I can decorate them and I can sell them so I can get more money. So that's a business opportunity, right? Or like, for example, some people can, you know, think about like whether it can actually change people's plans, also companies' plans, or they can actually see a business opportunity. Hey, we have in here uh, at the best example of a business opportunity here, right? So do you remember how difficult it was before to join a class because of your location, because of your schedules, right? Nowadays, it's easier as just like click on the link. Hey, here we are in the class talking about business. All right. So yes, thank you for that, sharing that as well. Let, give me a hand with the last one. Who's going to help me with the last one, which is going to be the desired outcome. Who can help me with that one? Hmm? Yes, the desired outcome. Fatima, Nelson, Vanessa. Me teacher. All right. Thank you, Nelson. Go ahead. Desired outcome. It is not a solution, but a situation that determines benefits that result from meeting and businesses need. Business needs. All right, excellent. So the desired outcome is like you know something that I was expecting to happen, right? So um it's, it's as it says, as it says there, it's not a solution because we didn't actually have a problem or or uh, or we didn't consider we had a problem at the beginning. So we just had a call and the problem will be not being able to reach the goal, right? So, but if we are able to reach the goal, so then we have a desired outcome, right? Um, just like, just to remind you here about the pronunciation of this word. So it's going to be the determines. Everybody repeat it, determines. Determines. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see. And this one is going to take us here to the next information that I wanted to share here with you, which is this one right here. This one that you can see here uh, in purpose, right? Let me zoom in so you can see this one in a better way. Here you are. Okay, so let's see. Do you see it, people? The, the, the section that is in purple? Yeah. Okay, who can help me to read this one? Perhaps Fatima, can you? During the operation, business owners establish objectives and goals for their organizations, including the willing of teams for to work hard and mm -hmm. achieve goals. Such objectives and goals comprise business needs. Correct. These are elements that a business requires to be profitable. Profitable. And profitable and deliver our mission accomplishments. Accomplishments. Thank you, Fatima. You did a very good job, right? So just remember, we have some words there that we need to verify the pronunciation, right? Such as, let me just 
um, highlight them here so we can work on this one. So for example, this one, profitable, repeat it. Profitable. There you go. And this one, accomplishments. Accomplishment. Thank you very much. Everything else was just super good. All right. So now let's see. Um, let me ask you this one, Fatima, because you were reading this to like this couple of lines right here. Tell me, what do you understand about the operations? Um, talk about um the the plan mm -hmm. to 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 goals or vision. Yep, thank you very much. Thank you. That's your idea, and that's actually very good. They are very, um, you know, similar to what the um paragraph is telling us here. Thank you. Let's see, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Tell me what it's. What are your thoughts about this? Yeah, that we have, we have to make what goals they want to to achieve. So it's important to to make a, like a, a list to in order to accomplish. And with that, the company could uh, be profitable and, and reach all the goals that they need. Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? So very nice answer, right? So, and that's actually what it, this is talking about. Like when it's company, uh-huh, sorry. It's rally. Oh, I was about to say that. Let me just highlight it here. It's this word, right? Yes, this is a synonym of meetings. You know what a meeting is? Yeah, okay. All right, excellent. So that's why it says here, including the rallying of teams. So having meetings with the teams, all right, uh, to work and hard achieve goals. Now that we're talking about uh, meetings, and I was about to ask that a um, couple of seconds ago, all right, I have a question for you. In your opinion, in your personal opinion, how often do you consider companies have or should have meetings? Like every week, twice a week, every two weeks, once a month? What would be in your uh, opinion, the correct or the right uh, amount of meetings the companies should have with teams? Hmm? I think it depends of the company, but in my case, in the company that I work, uh, is every week, and I think it's is is good every week. Okay, great, excellent. And and you do it every week at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week? In the middle of the week. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So, uh, and what about the rest? So, for example, Fatima, Nelson, or Daniel, how often do you think it's good to have meetings? In my company, uh, I at this time, uh, I have a night shift. I don't work uh, a day shift, but I know uh, how the, the other co-workers have meetings every two days. It's depending. Uh -huh. It's it depending about the about the operation uh, we have in the in the in the base. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's actually a, a very interesting situation because we move from once a week to twice a week. All right, or every two days, which it could be like three times or more a week. So thank you. What about Vanessa or Fatima? Girls, can you tell me? About the meetings, how often you have meetings at in your companies? I think it's depend the area. Area, okay. Because uh, in the area or treasury. Uh huh. Uh huh. In treasury, um, for for see the budget mm -hmm. is every every month. Every month. Because okay. first, uh, build the. The the budget, <laughs> the incomes. Oh yeah, super important, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. So let me just make a short correction there. So remember when you use um 
the preposition for, the verb has to be with ing. So you can say, for example, for seeing, all right, which is also correct. Or you can say uh, to see, which is also correct. So this is like the combination you should have. If you use for, you use ing, or you can use to and the base form, all right? But thank you, and that's interesting, right? So are you working in that area, right? Uh, are you an accountant? <clears throat> Fatima, are you an accountant? No, I'm business administration and treasury to oh. pay the, the providers. Oh, I see. That's, you know, but you're familiar with that, with that area, right? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Excellent. Thank you very much. So we can move now to the next one right here, which is going to be, let me just share it. Stop. Let me change the screen right now so we can go quickly to the next <clears throat> Okay, um, let's say this one. So the next one that it says right here, it's this one, gap skills and analysis. All right, so what is this one? And I'm just checking if you remember, right? So because you guys told me that you have seen this topic before and today it's the time for the review. So what's like the gap skills and analysis? Analysis, sorry, analysis, oh my God. Uh -huh. It's We're talking about this one right now. Let me show you here about this one. Do you remember about that? Mm -hmm. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Do you remember about that? I remember this when you analyze what are the knowledge that you, that you need for make a good job. So if you need uh, another skill that you don't have to complete your task, it's important to to fill this gap in order to improve the work. Absolutely correct. That's going to be easy. We're not going to like look or discuss for more because that's actually um, what you have right there. So when you have a gap, it's because you need to improve, right? And uh, since you need to improve, then you need to look for like perhaps training, which we are, we are going to talk about training in a moment. So trainings or courses or additional information, additional uh, knowledge that we can get or acquire uh, in order for us to improve and to perform a better job, right? So definitely. And let's go to this one. Let's see. Do you remember the next one I'm going to um, highlight here, which is going to be this one? Survey, survey, survey. What's that? Mm -hmm. What was survey? Do you remember that? Survey is a general view mm -hmm. examination or description of someone but where you need to collect uh, information about your uh, your customers. Exactly, all right? And I have a question for you. Are service only part of a company or they can be used in any other area? Um, repeat the question, please. Sure. Are service for companies only or can service be used in a different area? Uh, I think uh, about, about both. All right. Thank you, Daniel. What about the rest? Do you think that service are only for companies or we can use survey? Uh, I mean, we can survey in different areas such as education or at school or university or for politics sometimes as well. Mm -hmm. I think it can be used in, in any area. In any area, exactly, right? That is absolutely correct, all right? So for example, because remember when uh, the companies or any institution or any, for example, when we're talking about politics, right? Now that we are about to start the the campaign in El Salvador, the candidates are going to use the service to see what is the impression or what is the opinion people have about them, right? So that's why companies also do the same. So companies want to know what people need, what's the opinion people have about their products, 
um, or what are the comments that people are making about um, the flavors, if it is about food, the colors, if it is about any product, etc. right? So they can make a change on that one. So for example, let me ask you this one. Do you think it's going to be a good idea for a company that is not from El Salvador, so they don't know our country, so they come to El Salvador and they go to sell sweaters to San Miguel? Do you think it's going to be a good idea? Bad, bad idea. It's a bad idea, yeah, because, you know, people in San Miguel will not buy sweaters for sure, right? They don't need that. Right, but what happens if the company actually starts selling AC? That's actually a better idea, right? Because everybody in San Miguel needs ACs or at least a fan, right? So that's true. So that's why a company is absorbing. So they can investigate uh, about the market and about consumers, right? So they can see what they need so they can offer that. Okay, and then we go for the last one right here. So to move forward and it's about this one. So the performance, uh, here, what is this one, ladies and gentlemen? Can you tell me, please? What do you remember here? Hmm? Yes. Okay. Another person. Another person. Oh, yeah. What do you remember? Hmm? Okay, let me just share this one. Don't worry, people. Like too many people participating at the same time, right? So let's see. Don't worry. Let me just share this one right here so you can see. Tell me, please, if you can see the new screen. Can you? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So here you have. Oops. What happens here? Okay, excellent. So again, in purple, we have this one right here. So which is this one. So first of all, how do you pronounce that word? Appraisal, appraisal, appraisal. Uh -huh. Who can help me with the pronunciation of that word? Mm -hmm. Appraisal. Okay, I have two versions of the word right now. So appraisal and appraisal, all right? Let's see this one. I'm just like, uh, I'm going to ask Charlie Charlie here. Charlie Charlie, you know what the pronunciation is? Appraisal. Appraisal. Oh, did you hear that? Charlie Charlie is around here. One more time. Appraisal. One more time, Charlie Charlie. Appraisal. Excellent. One more time. Appraisal. Did you hear that? Appraisal. Yes. Appraisal. Yes. And that is, okay, what is that? What is appraisal? It's a synonym of something that everybody knows. Do you know that? No? Appraisal, it's a synonym of evaluation. Mm -hmm. So appraisal is the same as evaluation. All right, there you have it. Why is this important right here? Well, so... If I have appraisal and I have performance, let me see if you remember this one. Do you remember what is performance? Yes? Rendimiento. Rendimiento, all right. So, okay, that's actually correct. So, entonces sería una evaluación de, about what? It will be an evaluation of what? Desempeño. Desempeño, that's actually the best translation. Thank you very much, all right? So, let's see. I need a volunteer right now for helping me here reading this uh, blue paragraph. I mean, this pink or purple, I don't know what color is it, but this paragraph right in front, all right? Who can help me? Me, teacher. Thank you. That was Carla, right? Yes. All right, go ahead, please. The term performers appraisal refers to the regular review of employees' job performance and overall contribution, contribution to a company. Also known as an annual review, employee appraisal, performance review or evaluation. A performance appraisal evaluates an employee's skill, achievements, and growth or lack there, there, there off. 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it pronunciation? You know, you did good. All right. So uh, let's interview some print some words right here. So the first one is gonna be this one right here. How do you pronounce this word that I have there? Contribution. Okay, excellent. It's almost perfect. You said like contribute, correct. The last part here is supposed to be shen. Contribution. Contribution. There you go. That sounds better. Good job. All right. And then the last word that is actually a new word, right? So what do you think it's the pronunciation of this one? Let's ask Charlie. Charlie. Thereof. We said it correctly. Thereof. 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 All right. And what's the meaning of thereof? Do you know it? The meaning no. of their okay. No? okay. So the meaning of their it's like del mismo. That's mm -hmm. why it says right there, for example, uh, we're talking about growth or lack thereof. All right. So for example, take a look at this one right here. It says, I'm gonna copy this on the chat. Growth or lack of thereof. Sería crecimiento. O falta del mismo. That's how you use it. Can you see that? Yay, excellent. So, okay. So since this section is about evaluation, so do you think it's actually necessary to have evaluations in the company? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's necessary to have evaluations? Um, you for me, the employees. For me, teacher, it's important because with with this tool, you can know how the employees are working and how they can improve their work. Exactly, exactly. That's actually correct. Thank you very much. And I have questions for everybody here. So now tell me, are you evaluated in your company? And if your answer is yes. How often are you evaluated? Mm -hmm. In my company, they evaluate each, each year. Mm -hmm. Once a year. Once a year, all right. Excellent. And, and what about the rest? So for example, Hector, Jamie, Adriana, Fatima, Nelson, Daniel. In my company, there is no uh, program, the, the, person, the performer appraisal. Oh, really? So you are never evaluated? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Yes, right. it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's <laughs> but... interesting. I will tell you a secret, <laughs> but don't tell anybody else here. I am evaluated in every class, but don't tell anybody. All right? So, uh, <laughs> but that's good because, you know, it actually it guarantees you a good service, right? In the in in your case that you are a customer, of course, right? So, for example, let's see, Nelson, um, how often are you evaluated? No teacher in in some company they don't they don't say you when are you are evaluating. Uh huh. Yes, but, uh, they just looking how you are your job, mm -hmm. how you improve your your skills in in every task that they giving. Mm -hmm. Exactly and, right. And, and when and when it's necessary, they just call you maybe in human resource or the manager, and and maybe they they tell you that you have been evaluating. Okay. Um, some company don't pay you. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's interesting. And, you know, we have different um scenarios here. We have different situations, right? Because, for example, at the beginning, someone told me that they are evaluated once a year. I told you that I am evaluated, I'm being evaluated uh, every class. Um, Nelson said that 
the it, it depends on you or the company will only talk to you if you need to change something, right? And also, um, Ivan told us that he is never evaluated by the company. So can you see how companies work in different ways, right? But I have a question for you in general. Um, in your opinion, is it necessary or not being evaluated? In my opinion, it is necessary. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, because I think either way that, that the company or the, or the manager knows how the employee work or, or do the every task. And in the in a moment they want to I don't know how do you say aumentar el salario to raise that okay raise uh, okay they they call that the supervisors and supervisor. they ask him supervisor and they ask him how work the employees and as the supervisor is it is necessary to give a uh, Major salary. All right. Or oh, higher salary. Higher. Higher. Mm -hmm. Which is like mass alto. Very good. Hey, this is my opinion. That's actually correct. And I guess it's a good idea, by the way, right? Um, you know, can you imagine how good it is to have um, you know, to receive a raise, right? After you receive a positive evaluation, that's actually good. All right. Okay, awesome. So now let's just move forward so we can review this one as well. So this one is on your book. This is something that you have seen before. Uh, but let me ask you this one. Did you check those links in the class about training? Or not? No, teacher. No. I don't remember, no. Okay. All right, don't worry. Let me just show you right now here. So I'm going to show you this one. I have them already here. So I was just like um, preparing this before, and it's this one. Oh, okay. All right. So, so right there, all right? So, and this is about training, 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 training. So basically, we are going to see the importance of training and development in the workplace. That was actually, bless you, Jamie, bless you. All right. So the importance <laughs> of training um, and development in the workplace. All right. So. This is actually something that you were talking about before, about training, right? So in, let's just start the conversation by asking those questions. So do you think that receiving training in your companies, it's important, yes or no? Yes, it's very important. Okay, why, Carla? Because uh, uh, the employees, can can have better performance. That's or correct. Uh, for... uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> or to expand knowledge. That's correct. That's correct. All right. And, and for example, in, in your company, Carla, how often do you receive training? Never. <laughs> Never? We, because yeah, I work in the supervision of construction. All right. Yeah, I can see. But that. never received right. so, any time. Okay. Yeah, that's no good. But well, at least you are receiving here an English course. All right. So, which is good. <laughs> all right. Excellent. And what about other cases? Let's see. Fatima, Nelson, Vanessa, Jamie. All right. So, how often do you, do you receive training? My case is. Um, semester, teacher? Semester? Semester. Like, or like how often in a semester? Like once in a semester or twice it's a year? No, one semester. Once in a semester. So it's like twice a year, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, which I guess in your case, it's necessary because of the loss, right? You know, when the loss changes, like, you know, loss. Let me see here in the chat. Yeah. 
All right, so yeah, they changed a lot, so we need to update that one. All right, thank you very much. So let's just continue with this one right here so we can actually start um, having um, a discussion about this one. So people, please pay attention to this because we are going to get some information. And after this, we are going to have a conversation time with questions about this. All right, so, well, it says right here, the training presents a prime opportunity to expand knowledge, as Carla said before, expand the knowledge. Uh, but uh, employees are also miss out on work time while attending training sessions. It can be difficult, people, because sometimes you have a lot of activities to do in your job, right? And then they said, okay, guys, you need to go to training, right? So then you have to stop your activities, you know, and go to the training. And sometimes it can be really stressful because you have accumulated a lot of um, things to do, right? But um, then we go for this one here. So first of all, uh, let's just go step by step and check in this one here, all right? So the first one, which is going to be addressing employee weaknesses. Everybody, please help me with the pronunciation of this one and repeat it with me. Weaknesses. Say it, please. Weaknesses. weaknesses. Excellent. And do you guys weaknesses. remember what is the meaning of weaknesses? Mm -hmm. I don't Not have a idea. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I don't know who was the guy talking, but Jamie, yeah, it's something that we are not good at, mm -hmm. right? So something that we need to improve. Exactly. So thank you. That was good. Uh, all right. And I have a question for everybody else right here. Who can tell me how, how can I understand this expression? All right. Because it's addressing. Is it coming from address? Like from my home address, for example? Or what's the meaning of addressing employee weaknesses? Mm -hmm. Como direccionar. Mm -hmm. Direccionar. Yeah, because it's coming from addressing, right? Uh -huh. uh, what else? Direccionar. Anybody else? Addressing. Yeah, what, what, what she it's said. It's like work for this. Work on, all right, exactly. So, well, the correct translation will be what Jamie was saying before, which is direccionar. Eh, direccionar las eh, debilidades de los empleados, right? Why? Because it is important not only uh, have the knowledge uh, to say, like, for example, I know my employees don't know how to use Excel, for example, or I know the employees don't know how to uh, or they don't have customer service skills, just to say some areas, right? So I need to address that. So I need to actually change that weakness and become, I mean, to turn that into a, a strength, right? Una fortaleza. Very good. So let's see this one. Uh, let's see, Jamie, would you mind helping me reading the first paragraph? Most employees have some weaknesses in their workplace skills. Uh, training programs allows you to uh, strip them. A strength. Those, Strengthen, sorry, yes. A, a strength. Hmm? A strength those skills that each employee needs to improve. A development program brings all employees to a higher level level so they all have similar skills and knowledge. This helps reduce any weak, any weak mm -hmm. link within the company who rely heavily on order to complete heavily. Heavily. Uh, heavily. Heavily on order to complete basic work tasks, providing oh, the excellent. necessary. I'm sorry, continue, 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 continue. I'm sorry, uh -huh. providing the necessary training creates an overall knowledge, knowledge, knowledgeable. Let me repeat knowledgeable. That. knowledgeable. knowledgeable staff with employees who can take over 
for one another as needed. Work on things or work independently without constant help and supervision from others. All right, excellent. Thank you. That's a good job, right? Thank you very much in this one. So you did it wonderfully. You actually was super, super, super good when you were reading, all right? So super nice. Now, tell me here. Uh, it says this one. I have some questions regarding the vocabulary. Let's see, people, if you can help me with this one, all right? So the first one was um, this one right here and another one. This one, this expression, how would you understand it? Remember that it's actually, um, let's see, important that you know that you understand the the context, right? So let's see, what's the first word? Knowledgeable. Do you know what is the first word? What's the meaning? Can you tell me? Knowledgeable. What is it? Mm -hmm. It's to know. It's to know. Yes, to know. It's like someone is expert in something. Exactly. An expert is another way to say expert. That's actually the best friend's, um, synonym for that one. So knowledgeable, it will be expert. All right. One second here. Expert. That's correct. Very good. What about the second one? First of all, what's the pronunciation, people? It's that thing people said like that, but that's not right. So what is it? Uh-huh. So it's like this one. Strengthen. Straighten, exactly, right? Everybody repeat it. Straighten. Repeat it. Strengthen. 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 There you go. And what is the straighten, people? Mm -hmm. It's this one to um to reinforce actually to consolidate something here. All right. And now the longest question is right here. How would you here translate the following? This helps reduce any weak links within the company. How can you translate this one? How can you translate this helps reduce any weak in the company? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me how do you say that? How do you how can you understand that phrase actually? Mm -hmm. No sé algo como esto ayuda a reducir Cualquier enlace de debilidad dentro de la empresa. Yes, we can understand it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Pero no sé, weak link, sino no sé. You know. The... Oh, es, esto ayuda a reducir eh, alguna debilidad relacionada con la compañía. Yeah, like that. So, Vanessa, you were very close. Right? So, yes, that's actually very good. So, that's it. That's it. Very good. It's actually nice. Nice, nice, nice. And you are able to understand this one. Then you go on this one right here. Improve employee performance. Yes, we were talking about that before, right? An employee who receives the necessary training, it's better able to perform the job. Creo que like, I think he, we, don't need, we don't need to read all this paragraph. The most important information is here, right there. All right. So let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Mr. Daniel Luna, can you help me to read this line, the one in blue? Okay. An employee who receives the necessary training is better able to perform her job. Thank you, Daniel. Do you agree with that or not? Yes, I agree. All right, excellent. So, uh, why would you say this one? Why do you agree with that? Uh, because I, in in my personal case, I receive, I I, I am an uh, as a, I work as a driver, mm -hmm. and I receive, and I receive, I I receive, uh, I receive a training about how to manipulate 
the, the fork cliff. Mm -hmm. And I and, and, and when I when I start to manipulate the fork cliff, I, I am very nervous nervous and uh, uh, along uh, and, and and when when I have a training I I need more I, I have more experience about the uh, the the the, the, the manipulate of the uh, forklift. At this time I don't have problem with the uh, with the forklift. Okay. That's interesting. Thank you, uh, Mr. Luna. That was a very nice answer. So you have a nice fluency, by the way. So good job. So let's see. Uh, let's just go on this one, which is the last one. Employee job satisfaction. It says right here. So do I have any volunteer? Any volunteer for helping me reading this first paragraph? Oh, I know how I'm going to select the next volunteer. My volunteer will be the last person, listen, the last person who uses, uh, who actually raised the hand here in Zoom. The last person who raised the hand. Let's see, the last person who raises the hand here in the chat. Let's see, in Zoom, in Zoom. Raise your hand in Zoom. All right, very good. So we got Daniel, Adriana, Vanessa. Quickly, quickly, the last one right now is Ivan. You're missing more. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Will that be Hector? And then the rest. Uh huh. What happens, Jamie? Joel, man. Carla Lorena. All right, so let's see, let's see. That will be Jamie. Yes, again. <laughs> all right, so. All right. Let me see if I have anybody else after Jamie. Oh, I have. Let me see. Yeah, that's actually you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie, again, for helping me. Just this paragraph, please. Employee job, job satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Employees mean access to training and develop programs. Have, do, have the advantage, advantage, advantage over yes. employees, over employees in other companies who are left to seek out training opportunities on their own. The investment in training that a company may show the employees that are valued. The training creates a support lead for play. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise know about or told of themselves. Mm -hmm. Employees who feel appreciated and shelling through training opportunities may feel more satisfaction toward their job. Thank you very much. That was actually a very good job reading that one. All right, so let's see. Uh, now we are going to, well, we have actually read those three important things about the training, right? which is the first one, addressing employees' weaknesses, right? That was the first. And the last one, structure, training, and development. Um, also, like employee job satisfaction, all right? So then we are going to um, move forward and we're going to have a conversation time. Look, I have questions for you here, right? So we have here 12 questions that we are going to start using right now. So we have rooms, right? I can, I guess it would be better if we go in couples, all right? So we can actually start having those discussions. So you can start asking one question here, and then you provide your answers, and then you share your opinions about this one, and so on. Before I send you to the um, um, breakout rooms, we are going to go all over the questions to understand what is the question asking, in case that you have any question here. So let's see here. Let me just zoom in so you can see this. You go on this one. Number one, it says, does your company offer any training programs? Do you think they are useful? Yes or no? This is about your companies, and we were talking about that before, right? So I asked some people if you receive trainings or not. You said, some of you said yes, some of you said no, some of you said every six months, etc. right? So you talk, uh, you give more details about those. And then if you express your opinion about them, if you consider they are important. Number two, what kind of training will staff in your company benefit the most? So think about your company. Think about your company and tell me what type of training do you think is going to be 
the best one for your company. You know, maybe based on your area or maybe based on your company, right? Uh, the number three right here. I need some help with this one. So Hector Morales, can you help me reading question number three, please? Of course, teacher. Number three. Uh -huh. Yes. How have you ever taken part in on a in a training program that was useless? What was wrong with this? Thank you, Hector. So this question number three is asking, like for example, uh, I don't know if one day you receive a training, but the training didn't work. The training was useless, right? So, um, for example, maybe it was not for your area. I remember, I guess, Daniel told me that um, you were a driver, right, Mr. Luna? Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. So, imagine how would you feel if you receive a training, for example, about antiviruses? You don't actually work with computers. <laughs> I, I, I never use it. I never use it. Because exactly, I don't so? use, in, in my work, I don't use computers. <laughs> exactly. So it's going to be yeah. useless. useless. Right. Yeah. So and have you ever received any useless training in your company, like, you know, from your company or not? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, because in my last training was about uh, first aid. Okay. Yeah. That's actually definitely um super useful for every area, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. All right. Uh, by the way, Daniel, can you help me with the number four, please? Number four, let me see. Can you think of a training program which will be useful to you? To you, exactly. All right. So if we go on this one, let me ask this to somebody else here. So Vanessa, what can be a, a, a really good training program for you? About what area? A useful training. Yes, for you, for your company oh, or your what is your... I think a uh, training of quality of products could be a good training for me. Okay, great, great, great. Awesome. All right. So you see, that's actually what I'm talking about. And then when you are talking to your partner, so you explain the reasons why you consider the training will be the best one for your company or your area. So number five, let's see. Uh, Jamie, can you help me reading number five, please? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. What sort of skill do you think you young people in your country lack the most? Okay, very good. Let's try to understand this question, all right? This one, it can be understand as kind. What kind of skills? All right. What kind of skill do you think young people in your country don't have? So they don't have it. Will that be customer service, people skills, technical skills, right? So or so on, right? Like, for example, think about your companies. Think about like the young people that is higher in your companies. Um, when you think about those guys, so what do you think they need? in order for them to perform the job in a better way. Um, let's see this one. Number seven, Mr. Nelson, uh, can you help me with that one? Number seven, no, excuse me, number six. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Do you think your government should offer free work related training to young people? All right, very good. Thank you very much. Remember, this is not, um, you know, political question. It's just an opinion that you have, right? So I guess like uh, the government actually has some good programs where people can actually apply for the, those programs and improve, right? But in your opinion, what are those programs the government should offer? Perhaps English classes, computer classes, technical classes, in what area, for example? Just express your opinion, right? Don't feel shy. Number seven, let's see, number seven. Can you help me with this one, Fatima, number seven? Should employee in your country receive free English language training? Aha, uh -huh. so what do you think? Yes, of course, because here we are, right? So yes, we do have those English programs here. 
All right, thank you, um, Fatima. And then we have, and where is Jolman? I saw Jolman at the beginning of the class and where did he go? Jolman, are you around? Jolman yep. disappeared. Okay, let's see somebody else, all right? Um, let me just go for this one. So Ivan, can you help me with the next question? Number uh, eight, right? Correct. Would you say that employees in your company need to improve their computer skill? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, it's, it's necessary. For example, in my in my in my job, it's necessary uh, uh, training in in the. Like, um, those base to have other, uh, other basic course, computer skills, other right? Skills. Yeah. For example, Power BI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with you. Thank you. Thank you for helping me with that one. All right, excellent. So, thank you. Now, let's go with Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Can you help me with the next question, please? Number eight. Correct. Well, this is number yes, eight. Huh? Yeah. Nine? Number, yeah, number nine is it. Yes. Okay. Will online training be very big in the future? Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you think about that? Because we are in online class now, right? So what do you think is going to be this one? It's going to be bigger in the future or people will not prefer to go online? Yes, I think that it will be uh, bigger in the future because there's a lot of, a lot of, platforms who mm -hmm. they have a lot of courses like Platzi, Coursera, UDN, oh, yeah. and there are companies who who can uh, use a license mm -hmm. for their employees. That's true. All so right. Excellent. It's Thank like a... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't let you finish. Please continue. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's in, I think that it will be like easier for the employees and for the company. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't agree more with you. Really correct, 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 correct. Right. Uh, people from different cities, right, here in the class. So we have people from many places here, so they can actually, um, you know, take advantage of these courses. Right. There we go. Thank you. Um, let's see. Who wants, who wants to help with this one? Carla Lorena, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you help me with the next one, which is going to be number 10? If you can learn something from a book, there is no point going to a class. Do you agree? Aha, uh -huh. so a book, why do you go to a class? It says there. Uh -huh. Do you think that's actually correct or you always need help? No, I think uh, I think always is necessary. Yes, that's correct. All right. And let's see, Mr. Luna, can you help me with the next question? Okay. Uh, what would you say is the difference between education and training? All right, education and training. What's like the difference in your opinion, sir? The education is the formal, the formal education for you new, uh, I'll say, uh, or is obligation. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it's necessary for for your for your education and training is is very different. And training is. Um, Okay, education is is in inside the, the inside the class the classroom, mm -hmm. and training is outside the train the outside the class, and uh, respect for for your uh, your job for your job. And education yeah, that's is, true. That's is true. general. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, Hector, can you help me with the last question? Of course. <clears throat> um, uh, do you need to have a university degree 
to work for your company. Do you think this is right? Okay, excellent. So thank you. Uh, in your personal case, Hector, so do you need a degree, a university degree to work in the company where you're working at? Yes, I think, uh, I think yes, teacher, because it's, uh, sometimes it's necessary to uh, uh, take a decision for important um, point. If you don't have a, a education or uh, education, appropriate education, uh, maybe don't don't take a good decision. Um, if I have only training, maybe I can do mechanic mechanic uh, system, but it's right. necessary to make tomar decisión. How say tomar decisión? Make decisions. To make decision uh, for a uh, go to the good way to the company teacher. All right. Yeah, that's actually true. I couldn't agree more with you. So that's um very good. Okay, now people that we have, uh, you know, I'd like to take the time to discuss all the questions so you understand exactly what you guys are going to be talking about. But now it's your turn to talk. All right, so I'm going to send you to the uh, breakout rooms, all right? And then we are going to have here, let me see, how many are we here? So I have here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So maybe it will be a group of three and then um, couples, right? Break up rooms. We'll go for six, eight. Perfect. Okay, so the rooms are open. If you have any question, please call me so I will go to your room and you know help you with any assistance. So now please everybody move to different rooms so you can start practicing with your friends. Remember the questions uh, you guys are going to practice are in the WhatsApp group. So you can actually check the questions there. I just send it. I mean, the file, right? So the questions are there. Right now, go to the breakout room and open the file I sent through WhatsApp so you can see the questions and then you can start the, the conversation. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Hello, Joel, man. Um, Erica, uh, you're listening, right? So maybe you can just join the um the room. Hey, what's up, Jamie? Hola, estaba en un grupo solamente yo. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to be working with Carla, which is here, but I don't know if she's actually in the class. Carla, are you in the class? Hello, Carla. All right, no problem. Um, Jamie, I'm going to send you with somebody else, which is going to be Nelson. He's alone right now, all right? Where are you, Jamie? I cannot see you here. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Hola. Yeah, I'm, I'm, one second. I'm trying to move you to a different room, okay? Okay. Here, is, here you are. Move to room number four. Okay, go to the new room, Jamie, please. Ahí, ahí lo mandó. 
Um, surprise. Yes. Number. You can see. Number I one. Understand. Okay, okay. Okay, the number one, does your company offer training, any training programs? Do you think they are useful? Okay, my company, yes, the company offers training programs. Um, are useful, yes, are useful because uh, we need to stay update and training for do our job. What kind of training do you have in your company? Remember that it's it's not like like an interview where you guys are going to be asking all the questions to one person and then the other one will, will ask the questions back. So, for example, right now, uh, Daniel, you answered the first question. You can ask Yolman, what about you? What do you think? So Yolman can give you his answer. And after that, you move to the next question, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, what kind? Uh -huh. Number okay, two. Number. Hello. Yolman. I don't remember the meaning of. Staff. Staff, it's like uh, the people working. Um, well, actually, no. That one is just like um, to feed. You know, what kind of training will the staff in your company benefit from the most? Like, for example, it says like, in your opinion, gentlemen, what type of um, training it's going to be the perfect one for your company? Training about computers, training about... Um, it's English training about technical skills, etc. Right? Customer service, quality, etc. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think it's very important the uh, the equipment security. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the people in the warehouse because if you don't have if if you don't be uh if you, careful if you are not careful if uh, if you are not careful or the or some someone uh can can have a, a an accident in the warehouse And for example, when you when you take a uh, uh, when you take uh some something when you take something and up, and it's important the the, the security and the the the. There you go. Excellent. The, the that was a good answer. Thank you, uh, Daniel. I'm sorry, gentlemen. So Daniel, you can continue with the conversation, guys. If you have questions, you can call me. I'll be back here. Continue, please. Okay. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Uh huh. What question are you practicing? Uh, we are with number seven. We were talking that is about the free English language training. Okay. And with insult. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay. The next one, number eight. Will you stay? Will you say that employees in your company need to improve their computer skills? Mm -hmm. 
No. I think it's not necessary, just the basic. Um, uh, Fatima, the basic. can I, can yes. I, sorry for interrupting you. Um, you, uh, when you were saying, I think, all right, so um, let's just work a little bit more in the pronunciation of the TH in think, all right? Think. Think, exactly, because there is a word in English that is think, and that would be the lavamanos. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, right? So if you're saying I think, basically you're saying yo lavamanos, right? So it's better to say I think. I think. <laughs> Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. It's just like, you know, for you to improve your pronunciation. Okay. Thank you. Continue, girls. Continue. I will go to a different room. If you have questions, please call me. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Enjoy. I don't know how do you say, but maybe... Hello, Maybe how do you can, say what? Be, uh, how uh, to say primeros auxilios? First aid. First aid. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that the training can benefit to, to every employee. First aid. Because every single employee needs to, to be or to know the knowledge about fish teeth and yes. how and, and another can be how to use uh, every machinery. Oh yes, it is it's, it's important because in not just in the world, in whatever place that we can be. <laughs> yes. Um, more um, most people think that all the human we need to know about their first eight. Yes, it's the most important. Yes. Okay. And uh, question number three: Have you ever taken part in a training program that was useless? What was wrong with it? Let me think. Okay, like uh, like I told you at the first question, I don't have opportunity to participate in, in every training. For that reason, I don't know what is the, the way to they teach about training? But okay. uh, but uh, I think that every manager or or the people the company thinks or 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 they look the the correct way to give a a important training to employees. Because they they don't don't like to spend time giving training that that they don't that is necessary today. Mm. Okay. So, uh, because In you case, don't. In my case. They don't give. They don't give training. Told me. I don't have, I don't, I don't participate in training a lot of, but in a few that I can participate, I think there are, are embarrassing. Mm, okay. Because, because the, the human resources mm -hmm. want to be, want to be activities. Okay. Mm -hmm. When like for example, hold to another 
workers or play games or oh, really? dance dance in the training so I think it is embarrassing <laughs> so I don't like <laughs> yes yes sometimes it's a little embarrassing I I agree with you about that yes but, uh, but we're <laughs> we're yes. going to follow with the next one okay in the the last year in my company, they give uh, that the training, but they they give they gave gave it on Saturday. Okay. Yes, but they gave gave him in to the supervisor, only supervisor. Okay. Maybe mm -hmm. let me uh, uh that. That was around twenty supervisors in the company, but only only they participate. No, today don't watch the the other employees. Only for supervisor, and they oh. they they dance. They do another kind of play or dynamic. Okay. Okay. All right. I, Thanks for sharing I, that, Nelson. I, I, you guys are doing super good. Congratulations. You're working in a good way. Keep with the conversation, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. If you need my help, just call me. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Would be used for me. Uh -huh. a, pro, a, a training pro. In my in my case, is 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 important um training the audit audit internal. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Audit internal in different um areas, um inventory. Uh -huh. Cash flow, uh, cost, uh, stuff. What do you say? Estados financieros, teacher? Financial reports. Excuse me? Financial reports. Financial report. Correct. Financial re Analyze the financial re reports. La, la idea es a, a, este, actualizarse, teacher. To um, update your knowledge or to refresh your knowledge. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Refresh knowledge. Refresh mm -hmm. knowledge. And you, Carla? Uh, in many areas, areas uh, training areas. programs in many areas, areas uh, is uh, is extensive the the areas. Mm -hmm. There are many training that we can take in. I don't know if you know Asia is uh, la Asociación Salvadoreña de Ingenieros Arquitectos. Correct. Give Asia. many trainings in quality control, in super mm -hmm. supervision, super super supervision, super <laughs> supervision, supervision is a like teacher. Supervision. Mm. Super, well, supervision. Supervision. Yes. Supervision. Correct. Uh, in environment, in water, in structure, is 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 a lot areas that we 
can that that we can take a training. Mm -hmm. Yes, interesting. All right, so you're doing good, guys. Continue with the conversation, right? So I'm just here to listen to how you guys are doing. But if you have questions, call me so I can come back and help you with questions, like the questions about actualizar or uh, estado financieros you asked me before, right? No problem. Questions right now? <laughs> Not sure. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So no. I, I will go to a different room. Thank you. Okay. And no, a specific, a specific uh, terms or temas, como diría? Um, topics. 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 Hey, you have it. I have topics. The topics is very, very specific. Uh, like, como, decir, como decía anteriormente, like said previously, <laughs> previously said, uh, and environment 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 uh -huh. environment pollution uh or gender or uh how work in equipment uh -huh. this is the most important for my, uh, my my in my company because the work is very uh specific uh -huh. yeah in my case i think I don't think we have a specific training because we are a factory. So um it's a, it's a particular factory. So the the person that we hire in, in ha, have to learn how to operate the machinery in the company. It is the it it is it is an uh, a specific training to help to learn how to operate a machinery so it only it's a uh, a specific training i think it's the security so to know about the the risk about how to prevent an accident i think this kind of of training could help i think but um, for the administration, I think it's important to 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 know or to to have a training about plastics because in the factory they it produce a product plastics. So I think it, it could be a training that can can benefit to to the employees for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. The company is big. I'm sorry, teacher. Sorry for interrupting. All right. I just sent a message. I don't know if you saw it. All right. So you are going to, uh, I'm, go I'm going to be uh, moving to a different room. So one of you is going to be here and the other one is going to move to a different um, um, room so you can switch your classmate. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. No excellent. So in, in this room, the one moving is going to be you, Vanessa. All right. Okay. All right, so we're okay. going to move to Rome. Thank you, Vanessa. See you next Thank you, time. <laughs> Thank you. Then Thank now you. we're going to wait here for the other person to come, all right? Okay. Okay, teacher. It's going to be room number six. Let's see if the guy is joining. Here he is. He will be practicing with Joe now, actually. Hi. Excellent. Hello, Yoma. Thank Hi, you. Sir. Hey, Yoma. How are you? You continue practicing. I will go to a different room. Continue with the conversation. You're doing a good job. Okay. Thank you, Dich. Bye. Bye bye. You finished, teacher? Yes, um, I'm here to, to switch you to a different um, room, right? So let's see. You are going to... All right, Fatima, you're the one moving to a different room, okay? Okay. Okay. 
game. We are just waiting for Carla to join. Here is Carla. So Adriana, you're going to be practicing with Carla. All right. Okay. Hello. Hello, Carla. So Hello, now Adriana. it's going to be your new partner. So you can continue with the conversation. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Adriana. Hello, Carla. Ya aprendan yes. algo porque si <clears throat> because if you are uh -huh. if you can... in Spanish, huh? <laughs> if it, it, the, the question is a little difficult, teacher. Okay. Well, yeah, number six. Number six. All number right. Six. Well, I told you, right? So you just give like you know a personal opinion. You don't have to. Um, to give many details about that because I know sometimes people might have a perception about the government that it's going to get us into problems, right? So you just express your opinion. Like, for example, if, let me ask you the question to you guys so you can give your answers. So let's see, Nelson, do you think your government should offer free work-related training to young people? That I, I don't understand what it says offer free work related training to young people. Okay, uh, the free I mean, the free is because they won't pay for that, right? It's no uh, no yes. cost. And okay. um, when it says work related, it's because it's going to be a training uh, related to a job. Like, for example, like, you know, the courses that INSA4 um, offers. Right to become an, uh, you know, about to working with electricity, to work with as a baker, you know, all those things that you know, young people can actually receive for free, you know. And if you consider that that is that is actually correct, or they should go to university, it's an opinion only, right? Mm. Like you know, technical. Courses, that's what I'm trying to say. Was that clear, Nelson, or you want me to repeat it? I am a little confused too. Okay, no problem. So let me just start again. Um, let's see, Jamie, do you understand the question or you also don't understand the question either? I have an idea, but I know if that is it's true. Okay, let's go for this one. Um, let me hear your answer, and I will tell you that's correct or not. All right. I think that is good idea because uh, when you are young, um, no one company want to hire you, but if the government offers free war and training about something or about different areas, you are going to go. I experience oh, for that and you can get in the future easier a job. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. Actually, you got it correctly, right? So I just want to understand that when it says um, work-related, that is one word, right? Which it means relacionado al trabajo, do you know? It's uh, like, for example, let's see. Uh, as I was telling you before, all those trainings or all those courses that some companies, sometimes on city halls, you know what is a city hall? Yes. What is a city hall? City? City hall. Hall. No. Yes. It's this one. Do you see the chat? Yes. That is a city hall. What is a city hall? 
hasta el día. Very good. So, uh, for example, sometimes the city hall offers courses for young people. All right. Yes. So about computer skills, English skills, customer service, bartenders, um, technicians to so become a technician, etc. Right. So yes. you can um, uh, those are work related related courses. That's actually a work related close. I'm sorry, a work related course. All right. So. Again, so do you think that the government should offer those courses for free to young people or they, you know, you have to pay for that? Uh, yes. No, I, I, in my opinion is huh? they should be offered, should offer free work. Free work related training. Yes. Okay, excellent, thank you. So you see, you got it. You can continue with the next question now. Okay, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome, now go to a different room. Okay, okay. the number seven. Should in class. No, I'm not sure. You can learn something from there is no fun to be uh, I, I, I'm not agree at all because yeah you can learn something by yourself could be but in a specifically topics you need some help I think to to expand or that some, someone can can guide you in in the better way to to learn of if you understand something bad you can you can know and you you think that you are you are you are correct so i think it's the pen of the topic that, that mm -hmm. are you learning yes it's right mm -hmm. okay so. Do you want to say something? Me, that's me. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. So the answer was good. You know, as, as I said before, it's a personal opinion. So that's perfectly correct. Just one observation. At the beginning of your answer, I heard you said, I am agree. And that is not correct. When you use the verb agree, it, yeah. it, it is only I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like that. All right. And because good. the verb agree already means Estar de acuerdo. So you just have to add I. So I agree means yo estoy de acuerdo. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Sorry for the interruption. You can continue with the conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Estamos aprendiendo por eso. Ya ver. That's fine. That's fine. You're doing good. You're Estamos. doing good. Que nos guíe. <laughs> si no, no equivocamos. <laughs> okay. Number 11. What would you say is the difference between education and training. What do you think, Daniel? Mm, okay, education is necessary to for the for the life. <laughs> mm. uh, because the uh, how say the the constitution <laughs> mm. the laws yeah the, the laws of El Salvador mm -hmm. uh, say the person how how right to education and uh, yeah it's necessary for it's necessary for the life the education and the training is specifically for uh for you uh a job uh, for you a better job mm -hmm. um, and and other uh, and other skills you can learn in my case I I I learn my skills as a as a ramp agent in about in, 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 in a training, not an education. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think education is I don't know, it's more it's more general, I think. 
it's more formal, I think. Uh -huh. Intention is more formal. Uh -huh. It's something that you need to to learn about different different topics, maybe. In that mm -hmm. training, it could be more specific in a specific topic that you need you need to. They have they have programs, uh, free English. Uh, yes. uh, lo único, uh, the the person or the people the, they have a a free time for the for the schedule. The 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 classes is the morning on the afternoon, uh, but uh, uh, the people uh, working there is no access to the programs. Mm. These are for uh, offer different different um, schedule in mm -hmm. the programs. Um, for example, this is the eight p.m. <laughs> start eight p.m. <laughs> when I finish work. <laughs> No, uh, remember, uh, uh, they they uh, they they receive a, a training in the English. Is is because, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice cotizar? Cotizamos al. You can say you pay for uh, social security. Uh, excuse me, teacher. You pay for social security. Uh -huh. Right, right. Thank you. You're welcome. We pay. We pay uh, the the social social yeah. security. There is no working. No, no receive class yes. the English. Yes, you're right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the the government should be a uh, program free English. Any should offer, any should offer free English, English programs. programs. Okay. Should offer free English programs. She offer free English programs. Should, 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 should offer. Should offer. Okay. Number H. Question number H. Would you say that employees in your company need to need to improve their computer skills? Uh, I I had to just make a correction during the pronunciation, uh, Ivan. Yeah. Uh, tell me. Pronunciation of the number eight. What is pronunciation? The correct pronunciation is eight. Eight. Correct. Because you're saying, like, for example, if I said H, that is equal to the letter H, like that. Ah. So it has to be like eight. 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 Like this one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Eight. 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 Correct. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So continue, Fatima, with the answer, please. Sorry. Oh, um, I think I don't think so because, um, for example, in my area, just need the basic. And the basic um skills, computer skills. Um, some areas like um, IT. IT. Yes. IT. 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 Uh -huh. Right. IT. 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 
yes, this area need more skills about computer, computer and data. Database. And database, yes. Just that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, of course, it's necessary. Uh, training in the in the skills computer, Excel, uh, Office. Uh, the, the inform the company is business. It depends the area. Depends the area. Uh, in the case that the marketing, yeah, uh, uh, I I magic, uh, I don't know Photoshop or or, or uh, we. They they create they create a presentation the products or or, or eh, ¿cómo se dice? embalajes teacher o depósitos embalajes you said uh -huh. uh, el, 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 el... para llevar el producto por ejemplo un churro se necesita la bolsita Una Coca-Cola, la lata, la botella, eso. What is the... And, you know, it could be like the packaging. Packaging, packaging, right. Like the packaging, uh huh? Like this uh -huh. one. The sign. Packaging. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Package. Package. Packaging. Packaging. Yeah, the marketing, uh, they need a uh, create package. Back again. Oh, thank you. Good job. There you have it. Oh, All right, excellent. So we are going to stop right here. Uh, let's go to the main class so I can give the last the last instruction. All right. Yes. Teacher. Okay, teacher. I got it. All right. So cancel, cancel. All right. So what is the breakout rooms? Breakout rooms. Oh, on the time. All right, you can go back to the preview to the main class by clicking on leave the breakout room. All right. I'll see you there. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody else. We're waiting for the rest to come, all right? Okay, let's see the team. Perfect. So we have the majority of you here. All right, everybody. Um, we are going to uh, finish the class right here. I want to congratulate you because all of you guys were doing a very good job when it comes to practicing. I'm surprised. You guys are a really good group, right? So you have a nice fluency. You have a lot of vocabulary. So congratulations and good job. I really enjoy having this class, having this conversation with you. And I hope you also have learned some new words today, all right? To conclude with the class tonight, I just want you to use the reactions, the reactions here in um, on Zoom, all right? So with the reactions, I want you to answer the question in the following way. So for example, it says here, now I can identify training needs in my department. So, do you think you can talk about the training needs independently? If it is if it is like that, you can react by sending thumbs up, all right? Or uh, if it is with occasional help, 
you can react uh, with, let's see here, with more, all right, with a different um, reaction. It could be, for example, this one. Okay, like the one you see here, or if you need, a, if your answer is only with help, you can actually react here with this one right here, all right? This one. So I want to see your reactions right now, people, to see what he said. Tell me. With help, with no help. All right. So which one is it? Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Hector. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Adriana. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, everybody else. All right, excellent. So, well, everybody, we are going to stop right here. It's time to go and rest, all right? Enjoy your weekend, right? Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Monday with a new class, new conversation questions, and new topics. It's been a pleasure. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.